Hey guys, uh, True Knight back here. Um, I just want to start off this video by saying, holy cow, thank you. Um, really appreciative of my last Fire King video. Um, it's only been up for one day and it's already at 230 views as of this time. So, um, big shout out to you guys. Thank you for the support and appreciation. Um, goes a long way, really motivator, you know? So, um, I'll keep up the contact with the deck because obviously you guys like it. I know it's new and fresh, so we'll explore it this year. Um, so tonight though, we're gonna go through Vanquish Soul. Um, this deck has really become a favorite of mine, even though I don't think I'll play it this year. I like it and what it does, but um, I already got my soul deck <laughs> with Sword Soul, so I'll keep that and uh, probably let this go for now. Um, not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna pick up Mana Diem and really jump into that deck this year. Just cause Infernal Noble was hit so hard that you can't really play that anymore. So I'll experiment with uh, Mana Diem. But that's a digress, that's another night. We'll go over that when the deck gets here. I'm gonna order it tonight probably. Can I go from there? So, but for tonight, let's get into Vanquish Soul, okay? We'll jump right in, kind of go through what I'm playing with it and everything. So, to start out, we're playing Three Reason. This deck revolves around this guy. Um, get to him by all means, by any means necessary. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people say that in a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh deck with 40 cards, you only want to run five normal summons at most. Never really gone by that philosophy, so I do play the three Madlo. Um, consistency, having a normal summon is huge. If you can't get to Raisin, you gotta go with her. Um, next up, two Borger. This is what I substituted out because it was three Borger and two Madlo, but I decided to switch it up. Uh, this is my favorite Vanquish Soul, um, Jialong. I think that he's amazing with his effect. A lot of Really didn't get the credit I think he deserved in the new set, but yeah. Uh, two Caesar, of course. Um, could play one, but I just decided to go with this guy. And then the last one, uh, just one Pantera. Again, I understand the whole just five normal summons, but um, this really helps out when you brick. So, yep. That's it for the monsters. Uh, three, stake your soul, of course. And as long as this card's a three, we'll play a three. Uh, the one Rota, I do play Durandal because again, by any means, you gotta get to Raisin. This card helps enable that. Uh, the one um, <clears throat> Slime, I don't play the other spell card. I uh, just play this for turn one. Um, that's what I'm kind of going with right now. Could mess around and uh, mix it up. And then I do play Snow Devil. Just burning your opponent is key. It really helps out in matches. Um, <laughs> Now for non-engine, uh, I'm playing Fenrir. <coughs> Excuse me. Fenrir really goes into <clears throat> like 90% of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> so if you're not playing this card, guys, jump on. Like as long as this card's at three, play it. Um, even if it went to two, I'd say play it. But um, yeah, guys, like I don't think there should be a debate. Play this card if your deck can play it. Uh, three Ash um, format. Uh, this this card's amazing against almost everything. So uh, main decking Droll. I don't see why you wouldn't. This is the next best hand trap compared to Ash. So play it in the main deck, guys. Um, I know some folks are going back and forth if it's a side deck or a main decker. I think it's a main decker. Um, Natium, um, the pot cards, like just. Play it, guys. Play it, play it, play it. Uh, finally, I do play three uh, Shifter. I think that as long as this deck can play it, you should play it. I am playing uh, Prosp. Um, I think that this deck really can play it well um, with its targets and everything like that and how much non-engine it's playing. Uh, I'm playing two Talents. Um, was thinking about upping this to three, but I decided to put in the Durandal instead. So, yeah. And then finally, of course, three imperm. As long as it's around, 
we'll play it. So that's it. Uh, 41 cards. The 41st card is Durandal. Um, don't really think you can go wrong with it. Uh, I think it's a very strong deck. We'll go more into it at the end. Uh, four extra deck now. Playing three uh, Vanquisher, of course, because it's the heart and soul of the extra deck. Uh, the one SP Little Knight, there's not really much to say there. Uh, one unicorn because we can. I, my philosophy with this extra deck is just play a whole bunch of broken cards with Vanquisher. So um, I'm playing things like Appaloosa. I'm playing the Dempsey, of course. Uh, Baguska, because sometimes you are losing and you just need to stun your opponent. Uh, playing two Dweller for Graveyards, because Graveyard is going to be key this coming format. So play it. Uh, really like Thief Redoer, because sometimes. Just getting knowledge of your opponent's deck is all this deck needs to just compete. This is for my Fenrir package. I played it in, uh, or I do play it in Fire Kings as well. I just think this card is nuts, <laughs> especially in game three. Uh, the One Slayer, of course. And then I do play Baron and Cheng Ying. Um, let me tell you guys a little something about Cheng Ying. Being a Sword Soul player, that's not the only reason I play this card. But this card is gonna be nuts this format. Like it, it can protect itself, it's banishing your opponent's cards, like it, it gains the attack, you know? So just think about that. It's a generic uh, Synchro 10, so it's really easy to get into. Fenrir plus Ash. That's it for the extra. Now for the side, <clears throat> very plain Jane here. Uh, two Lightning Storm and the one Harpies, of course. I am playing three Ghost Bill because I feel like this should be in everybody's side deck. I am playing this instead of uh, Bissiels, yes, just because I don't think I needed Bissiels. Um, you could easily play Bissiels, but I like having the opportunity to banish whatever card I need to banish, not just monsters. Um, I think this is a slept on card in this format. Uh, I think even the match is going to be pretty nuts and it's a great card to just blow your opponent out when they don't see it coming. And then finally, I think this card's going to be nuts this format as well. This format, <clears throat> just because a lot of people are special summoning and activating effects and they just don't see something like this popping up, especially if you're going turn one, you set your play up and set this, you feel pretty protected. So. Um, that's it for the profile tonight, guys. I, again, I think that this deck is very strong. I think it's a very, very uh, competitive deck going into this format. I think it's gonna do a lot better than what a lot of people are thinking it is. Um, however, it's not really my flavor or the way I wanna play this year. I am kind of, I'm really wanted to explore my horizons and play different styles of decks. That's why I'm thinking about going with Mana Diem. Um, Mana Diem and Fire King, just cause Fire King is going to be the nuts this year. So I think getting on that now and just learning it, the ins and outs and everything is a key. And I think Mana Diem will help me become a better player. So um, this is a great deck to learn how to do resource management, but you learn that a lot too in Sword Soul. So, um, yeah, I kind of understand that already. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, again, I appreciate all the love and how much the view count is going up on the Fire King deck profile. Um, keep it up. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it again. Uh, look forward to more local stuff. I'll be doing other people's deck profiles and trying to get more matches for you guys. So anyway, keep it up and uh, appreciate it. Be kind, be respectful, and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.